welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you're here and watching my videos and liking my videos um so as you guys uh, know I you can't tell above or, or wherever you are on my channel that I am super duper duper close to 5,000 subscribers and if you guys didn't know if you guys don't follow me on Twitter follow me on Twitter I am always on Twitter so if you guys didn't know I'm going to have a 5k giveaway for the big accomplishment of reaching 5,000 subscribers and I have been meaning to get here for a long time I'm just so happy to almost be there but I guess I can say I'm pretty much there because I, I feel like I'm, I'm definitely gonna get there this week yeah I, I thank you guys for all of your support and all of the awesome comments that you guys have been leaving me on my past two videos thank you for all the positivity on my fat Katie video I was honestly kind of nervous to upload that video because um, that was my first time in a fat kini and then it was my first time and I had to you know, I made a video on it so I was just even more nervous but you guys feedback really made me very comfortable and you guys just made me feel so damn beautiful in my fat kini so thank you guys so much for your positivity don't forget to use hashtag fat kini on Instagram that way I can see all of your fat kinis this summer and spring that way you can share all of yours with me and also uh, the followers as well of my channel and my Instagram so this video is going to be my spring and summer fashion muffs has video it's gonna be pretty quick um, just a couple of items that I want to share with you guys so the first item that I want to share with you guys is something that I'm really obsessing over for this time of year spring and summer and that is going to be high-waisted shorts and I have three pairs here and they're all different washes I have a gray wash as you can see here and then the middle is like a really light uh, denim wash and then back here is like a darker washed uh, denim and all three of these you guys was purchased at the thrift store so they were only two dollars and fifty cents so I have three pairs of high-waisted shorts for under ten dollars so you know don't sleep on your thrift stores okay um so I will make a, if you guys are interested in me um doing a video on how to make DIY high-waisted shorts for plus size girls because we are curvy let me know in the comment section down below if I get more than five request videos then I should go ahead and make that video for you guys but I wanted to show you guys the ones that I have slash the ones that I made so the first pair you did see one of the a uh, pair of shorts in my fat bikini video because I, I wore it as a cover-up for my fat bikini so I could still wear my bikini top as like an actual top and then put a little like um I guess like a flannel or you know whatever you want to put on top of that whatever have you but these are just some shorts and you guys have seen them in my haul video if you guys haven't seen that video I will link it down below so you can check it out these are the high-waisted shorts they are a little bigger these are a size these are size 24 so they are bigger than my normal size but I wanted them to fit a little oversized so I did go a little bit higher in sizing just so they could go with the baggy look that I was going for and I definitely got that baggy look um, I distressed them myself I distressed the back pocket as you can see and then I also did some fringing down at the bottom and they are uh, shorter at the top or shorter in the front on the leg part at the bottom and then in the back they are longer so I think they look better that way but these are Levi's and they are absolutely perfect and you can kind of I have a little uh, peekaboo pocket going on here when I wear them you can actually see the pocket I tried to make it like hang out but of course the pockets aren't long enough so I have to find a pair of denim with like extremely long inner pockets but that might be hard but that, that that might happen <laughs> so those are the first pair that I have and then these are the second pairs that I have now these are a lot shorter than I wanted them to be these are like I call them my hoochie shorts okay they are shorter they're a lot a lot shorter um I don't know I really don't know if I can really wear these because they are really really short but I love the wash on these and I actually really like the way that these turned out I still fringe the pockets I also have a little hole in this pocket back here just for fun or whatever and then um, of course fringe at the bottom short in the front uh, longer in the back and then um, you can kind of see some peekable pockets but not as much as I would like but still these pockets are longer than the last one so you can see a little bit um, of a peekable pocket in these but I made these as well and then last pair um, this is a uh, darker washed denim and these fit a little bit more fitted 
than the other pair of denim that I got, which I like because, um, I don't know, these are these are probably my favorite. I wore them a lot when I was in Vegas um, on the West Coast, Best Coast. If you guys are interested in seeing how awesome Vegas was and how awesome the West Coast, Best Coast was to me, check out the down bar. It's going to be your B F F for the rest of the video okay <laughs> but yeah I wore these a lot I did not do anything to the pockets on these I didn't really want to I didn't want to have all of them like that so I kind of want to have some sort of versatility between all of them so I left them alone but of course I did fringe the bottom not as much as I did the other ones but I did fringe the bottom of these so you definitely need high-waisted shorts you guys you just have to have a pair so as you guys know I am a big fan of sunglasses and I have, I have six new pairs of shades to show you guys. Um, I got some when I was in Vegas because I forgot all of my shades in my room and I didn't realize it until we got to the hotel. So uh, I totally forgot all of them. But I had to get a couple and I went to Forever 21 because that's usually where I get all of my sunglasses for because I don't spend a lot on shades because I lose them. So I never drop a lot of money on them. I'm going to show you... Um, a pair that I've been wearing a lot lately and I'm like obsessed with these bug eye shades okay these are from forever 21 um I don't know if you can tell like it, I'm not outside but if you guys have seen like a couple pictures on my Instagram um then oh oh wait you can see it a little bit see they have like that little like I don't know what you call this type of different color lens type thing but they got a little bit of that going on up in here okay <laughs> so um they're really cool and um, they're super, super bug eye. Like, I love them. These are my shades when I'm not really trying to do my eyebrows. If I have these on on a normal day, like if you catch them in Target or something, most of the time I will not have brows on because they hide them well. So, these are the ones that I got and I absolutely love these so much. And then I got another pair, which I wear these a lot when I feel like I'm kind of like a inner tomboy, I guess I want to say, or whatever. But these are my other ones and these are black. And they have a gold detailing in the front. If you guys can see that gold detailing. And um, they're just black. And these are again from Forever 21. But I really like these. Um, fun. Like them. Um, they cool. Peace. The next pair that I have are definitely some of my absolute favorite shades I have ever owned in my life. These are from Aldo. Let me clean them because they're a little dirty. These are so cool, y'all. Okay, so these are my next favorite shades, and again, like I said, these are from Aldo. Um, as you guys know, I do not rock silver, I only rock gold. So these are super cute, and these were two for 22, I think, so they were like $12 a pop. So these are really cute. What I love the most is the gold detailing at the top, and the fact that they are a little bug-eyed. I'm absolutely obsessing over bug dye shades for some reason, I don't know why. But these are some of my favorites. I love these so much, you guys. They just look so freaking cool. I just love them so much. They're just so cool. You know. The next pair that I'm gonna show you guys, I actually got over this weekend when I went to a event for um, a marketing company, I guess, based in Baltimore called Boulevard Chic. So it was a local fashion truck event. I also have a blog post on that. So if you're interested in seeing that, check the down bar below. But these are, oh my God, guys. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay, these, forget the other shades, okay? These are by far my absolute favorite. They look, they're just so well made, okay? They're just, they're, they're just so dope. They're just so dope. They're just so dope. Um, they're super well made. I got these from a fashion truck. Um, I will link her down below. Um, her name is Charlia. I think it's Charlia Lee. Anyway, she has a boutique based in the DMV or a mobile truck based in the DMV and she goes all around and uh, sells stuff from her truck. But these were only 20 from her truck and I didn't think that was bad and I have never seen a pair of shades like this, but you guys, I love these. These are just like literally my favorite shades that I own. Really freaking cool and I absolutely just love this gold bar right here and I love the arches and the shades. I love how down here there's no like, uh, uh what you call this? 
this. There, there's none of this color going on down here. It's just literally the uh, the lenses. I just love these. These are like a dope pair of shade y'all. So I'll link her uh, boutique below if you guys are interested in uh, looking at her mobile boutique. And then I have one more. I don't have any shades like this, so that's kind of why I picked them up. They're called Two Chains. Okay, so they are like this. These are kind of like, they're cool, you know. I don't have a pair of clear shades, so I really wanted a pair. And as you can see, they have a gold chain detailing on the side right here. Really, really cool. And they are heavier just because these this isn't plastic. So they are a little bit heavier. These were 15, I think. Um, these are 15 and these are really cute. All right, so the next thing that I would probably include in my spring and summer fashion must-haves is a really cool clutch. And please excuse the dirtiness of my clear clutch. I've had it for a while, so I should probably invest in another one. But clear clutches, I these are really cool and they're really fun. And um, I got mine off of eBay. If I can find the link to where I actually purchased mine from, I'll find it down there somewhere below. But I was actually inspired by Ugly Face of Beauty um, over in the UK. I watch her channel all the time and I love her channel and I love Gracie. But um, this is just a clear clutch, you guys, and it's just fun. I wish it kind of had a um, gold chain around to make kind of like a satchel uh, because I don't really do clutches all the time. I only use them when I'm like going out or something like that. Just really fun. So as you guys already know, I already had my fat kini and you guys have already seen my fat kini for the summertime. So I'm encouraging you guys to get out there and go out your comfort zone and maybe try a fat kini only if you are down for it, okay? I'm not telling you to go buy it now, but if you are interested in trying a fat kini for the summertime, um, definitely try it. You know, it's, it's, you just, you gotta find one that really suits your body type and something that's extremely flattering to you. I encourage you guys to try a fat kini this summer if you are interested. Don't forget to use the hashtag fat kini style on Instagram so I can see all of yours. Another thing that I think you have to have for spring and summer is a good skater skirt, okay? I know skater skirts were really hot last spring and summer, but to me, they are still hot. They are my favorite types of skirts out there. And mine is just black. I want to get them in more colors. And I ordered mine off of ASOS. So this is from ASOS Curve. It's just black, and it's just a skater skirt. It's not as, um, uh, it's not as flare it doesn't flare out as much as I would like for it to be for a skater skirt but it definitely is a very fun skater skirt and um, I actually got it in a size too big but it allows me to kind of hike it up a little bit and make it a little high-waisted um, but uh, I really really love skater skirts for this time of year because they're so fun they're super airy they're also very comfortable and they go with pretty much everything so you can dress up a graphic tee or just a basic tank top with a skater skirt and make it happen so so um this is one of my favorite crop tops that i have and this is an, an actual like legit crop top i know it looks very small but it stretches a lot this crop top i got from uh wet seal when i was up in new york uh like this time last year but I got this from Wet Seal. And if you guys did not know, Wet Seal is going to start carrying a plus size line. I don't know if it's gonna be in stores or online, but they are gonna cater more to us. So thank God, because Wet Seal has really cute stuff. But um, this one is one of my favorites. I really like the pattern. So um, this is one of my favorite crop tops. You can make a crop top. All you gotta do is go to the thrift store and get a t-shirt or take a t-shirt that you don't really wear a lot or a t-shirt that is kind of like old and you know, you feel like it has no more life. You can kind of cut it up and make it your own crop top that you guys know, I'm sure you guys all know that. But you can make crop tops. Gotta have some crop tops up in there. So I don't own any of these because my feet are super wide. If you guys have any suggestions on where to get a really decent pair of black sandal wedge heels um, for wide feet, please let me know. I'm dying to have a pair. Do you guys know anywhere where I can get one besides Torrid? Because I like Torrid, but Torrid is just so expensive. It's pretty much it you guys um if you guys have any spring and summer must-haves that you have to have in your wardrobe slash closet 
please let me know in the comment section down below and share it with all of us here on my channel. I'd love to see what you guys like to have in your closet for this time of year. You may also want to give me some ideas of what I should have in my closet for this time of year because, you know. Also, I wanted to do a fashion spring must-haves beauties, beauty type thing. If you guys are interested in seeing that video, please let me know in the comment section down below if you'd be interested. I can do that video for you guys as well. But um, that's all I want to discuss in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 5k for the giveaway. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video again and until my next video, I will see you later. Bye!